let's take a look at the inspections which are in the client's pages. Once we select a client, select a site, we see this inspection page. The first thing we have is the site inspection information that's across the top there. We have a list of the different inspections. Here we just have one inspection. You may have more than one, depending on how many inspections that you have conducted. The site details are on the right-hand side. We can edit those details with the little pencil edit button as well. We can add remarks in there, site notes. We talked about that in the last section of this video. We can add a new inspection. If we are conducting a new inspection, we've been out to the site and have new data. We can view inspections in here as well. When we click on the view inspections, we will go into the actual inspection, which is gonna have the test data in it. Now on the left-hand side, we have our test information at the top. We have the array report at the bottom where we will be able to view the data that we have collected during the inspections and testing. We can change the inspection status. That's a good way to know where the inspection's at if it has um, been closed, either failed or passed, or if it's still open and there are things that need to be done to complete out that inspection. We can view unassigned data here. Now, if we click on unassigned data, we'll see any data that was downloaded from the SMFT 1000 that didn't get assigned to a client site and inspection. In this screen, the little carrot on the left-hand side there, if we click on that, that will expand the information and we can view a couple things in here. First thing, measurements, we can look at the test data, whatever test was conducted, the information associated with that test. We have info on the test engineer, if that was assigned, and the serial number of the SMFT 1000 that took the test data. So if you have more than one unit, you can know who is assigned to that unit and figure out who the test engineer is if it wasn't in here already. You can add notes, same as we have seen already. And the most important thing in here is we can change the location of where the test will be assigned to. Within True Test, we have this tree of information. It starts with a distribution board, that would be your AC panel, goes to the inverter, then to a combiner box, a string, and down to the module level. You can change the number of each of these locations to assign that data to a specific location which in, within the client and site. Once you have reviewed this information, edited it to the way that you want it with the location, if you wanted to add any notes in there, you can click the Move Tests button, and that will move that test to the currently open inspection.